Hi, Danielle here. Today we're going to be making Texas chili. Okay, so we're going to need some a 29 ounce can of tomato puree, tomato juice, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, ground cumin, oregano, salt and pepper, um, chili powder, this is the one I'm using, diced up, we're going to dice up an onion, a bell, green bell pepper, and some celery. We'll also need 15 ounce can of pinto beans, and a 15 ounce can of red kidney beans, and then two pounds of ground beef. So let's go ahead and get going. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and chop up the celery. I had the celery left over from a vegetable platter that my sister-in-law brought over for Super Bowl, so <laughs> may as well use it, right? So let's go ahead and get this chopped up, and then we'll dice up the onion and the bell pepper. Okay, so I got that all chopped up. I'm gonna do mine in the crock pot. You can either just put yours in a pot and boil it for like an hour and a half or put it in the crock pot for about four hours. So I'm gonna do the crock pot. Go ahead and dice up the, we only need, so we need a half a cup of the celery and we only need a quarter of a cup of the bell pepper. And yeah, on low for four hours in the crock pot or in a pot for about an hour and a half. Just kind of easy to put it in a crock pot, set it and forget it, and then come back in a few hours and your meal is ready. <laughs> How are you all doing today? Definitely put in the comments what's going on in your lives and also any prayer requests. You can also email me privately if you choose to. Also on Instagram, you can DM me. Um, so I have my Instagram, I have my email available, I'm on TikTok, I have, don't post as much there, but I'm, I'm going to start posting more, and yeah, so go ahead and let me know any prayer requests, any God praises, not even just prayer requests, but just praises of the Lord that he's done in your life, um, anything like that. Okay, so here's a quarter cup of that. Now we'll go ahead and dice up the onion. All right, and for the onion, it says one large onion, about one and a half cups. I don't know if I'll do that much, because, I don't know. It seems like a lot to me. I always think that. It seems like a lot to me, and then it's not <laughs> as much as I'm thinking. So, yeah. I'll just go ahead and get this all diced up, get this in there. Ground the beef, throw everything in there, and we are done. And we'll have some yummy chili. I'm excited. I've never made Texas chili. Have you all? Also put that down in the comments if you have actually made Texas chili. I never have. So this is my first time. A friend of mine, uh, we're not friends anymore, but way back, a friend of mine, she used to make Texas chili, and it was so good. And I love, like, the Wendy's chili. That's so good, too. I don't know if you guys have ever had Wendy's chili. I love it. Okay, so I have the onion chopped up. I just did one cup, so that's what I'm going to put in there. Okay, so now we're going to do the tomato juice. We're going to add four cups or one pint, but mine was a bigger thing than a pint, so one pint equals four cups, according to Google. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're going to add in the kidney beans, 15 ounces drained, and the pinto beans, also 15 ounces and drained. Now 29 ounces of tomato, tomato pure A. And I'll definitely put the recipe down below per use. Now a fourth a cup of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, a 
teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of oregano, an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then I did forget that we need sugar, and that's going to be half a teaspoon of sugar. Let me get that. A half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. Um, we're going to, and I'm going to go ahead and get it on low, but we also need to make, um, not make, but cook up the ground beef. So we're just going to cook that up, add that in here, and we're good to go. But I'm going to go ahead and get this heating because the ground beef will be warm when we put it in here. And yeah. It takes a while for these crock pots to get going. So I'm going to put this on low. We'll go ahead and cook up the ground beef. And then we'll add it in here. Alright, so we have our two pounds of ground beef. We're just going to fry this up and drain the fat. And then we'll add it on into our crock pot. Okay, so we have the ground beef completely cooked doesn't say to season it, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and follow the directions, and now we're going to go ahead and add this in to the crock pot. Alright, let me stir this in, and now we're going to let this go for about four hours on low. I'm sure you could do it for like two hours on high. To, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Like, like I was saying, I'm sure you could do it for like two hours on high if you choose to. I'm just going to let it go for about four hours on low. And then we'll come back and see what we got. I'm excited about this, you guys. So excited. Okay, so here it is. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. It's been right at about four hours, maybe a little bit more by the time I finished what I was doing and everything. So... This is it. I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl and we're going to sample this. Okay, here we go. Here it is. So good. Mm, I'm so excited. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of sour cream, or just like this. Either way, delicious. Mmm. That is so good. Two thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you try this. I'm so excited to like probably put some sour cream and some cheese on there just to kind of amp it up. Let me know, like I said, let me know if you guys try this. I'll definitely put the recipe down below. And I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!